Defining the gut-brain axis. The gut-brain axis is a bidirectional communication network linking the enteric nervous system of the GI tract with the central nervous system. This axis is regulated via neural, hormonal, immune, and microbial signaling pathways. Recent studies reveal that the gut microbiota significantly modulates brain function, influencing cognition behavior and neurodevelopment. In short, the gut-brain axis is a two-way communication system linking the gut and brain through neural, hormonal, immune, and microbial signals. Composition and the role of gut microbiome. The human gut harbor 10 to power 14 microorganisms, predominantly firmicutes and bacteroids, as well as actinobacteria. These microbes produce short-chain fatty acids, vitamins, and secondary bile acids. The gut microbiome interacts with epithelial cells, immune cells, and afferent neurons, producing metabolites that impact both peripheral physiology and brain function. The gut microbiome is rich in diverse microbes, produces metabolites that influence both gut health and the brain function. Neurological interface via the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve transmits efferent signals from enteroendocrine cells and microbial sensors like toll-like receptors in the gut to brain regions such as the hypothalamus and limbic system. Microbial metabolites including short-chain fatty acids, butyrate and acetate can modulate vagal firing rates altering hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis activity, stress response and neuroplasticity. The vagus nerve serves as a key communication highway between gut microbes and the brain, modulating stress and also your mood. Gut bacteria influence CNS neurotransmitter homeostasis through multiple pathways. The first one is serotonin. 90% synthesized in the gut by enterochromaffin cells influenced by microbial tryptophan metabolism. Second one is GABA, produced by lactobacillus and bifidobacterium strains, modulates anxiety and inhibitory synaptic transmission. Dopamine and noradrenaline, modulated indirectly via microbial metabolism or precursors like tyrosine. Tryptophan metabolism, gut microbiota, regulate the kynurenine pathway, influencing neuroinflammation and psychiatric vulnerability. Gut bacteria regulate the synthesis of key neurotransmitters like serotonin, GABA, and dopamine, impacting brain activity. Gut dysbiosis and neuroinflammation. Dysbiosis disrupts epithelial barrier integrity, which is also known as leaky gut, allowing lipopolysaccharides, LPS, and peptidoglycan fragments to enter systemic circulation. This triggers pro-inflammatory cytokines, which is IL-6, TNF-alpha, that cross the brain-blood-brain -brain barrier, activating microglia and contributing to neuroinflammation. Chronic low-grade inflammation has been linked to depression, Alzheimer's, and cognitive decline. In short, gut dysbiosis leads to inflammation that can affect the brain, contributing to mental health disorders and neurodegeneration. Nutritional interventions targeting microbiota. Prebiotics such as inulin, fructooligosaccharides, and dietary fibers enhance short chain fatty acid production and support microbial diversity. Fermented foods like yogurt, kefir, and kimchi contain light probiotic cultures like Lactobacillus bifidobacterium that modulate neurotransmitter levels and strengthen intestine barrier function. Polyphenols, for example, from berries or green tea promote beneficial bacteria and reduce oxidative stress. Therefore, dietary interventions with prebiotics, probiotics, and polyphenols can enhance gut microbiota and support brain health. The gut-brain axis represents a paradigm shift in neuroscience and immunology. The microbiota acts as a third component of neuroendocrine system. Modulating gut microbial composition offers a novel non-invasive approach to treat neurological and psychiatric diseases. Future direction include personalized microbiome profiling and next generation psychobiotics guided by metabolomics and artificial intelligence. In summary, modulating the gut microbiome offers a promising non-invasive strategy to manage neurological and psychiatric conditions. 
That was all for today's video. Please stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.